How's it going everyone? My name is Clink and welcome back to Demon Souls. So today we're gonna do the inner ward and hopefully defeat the penetrator as he has the last thing that I want. Uh, if you kind of have played Demon Souls before you've probably figured out what it is. It's uh, the cursed weapon as it's an incredible spell if you use it with the talisman of beast at least. So if you have not defeated any archdemons, this door will not open. So you have to defeat at least one archdemon. That's part of the reason I did uh, Dragon God already. But I also usually end up fighting him pretty early on anyway. And it, I just feel like it'll be really beneficial to get this before we, we move on to the other areas. Because I'm probably going to try to do Upper Latria next time. But it's probably also the hardest area of the three uh, Maining, maining, remaining main areas that we have left after this one at least. Just because, uh, Shrine of Storms 2 is pretty short and it's kind of hard, but if you take it slow, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I might eat those words though. And then the Swamp of Sorrow, while really large, isn't. Again, knock on wood, it's not like the most difficult in terms of combat encounters. Neither is Upper Latria. It's not like too terribly punishing. Uh, but it definitely has the hardest boss of the three. By the way, we're just going to be chasing this stupid bat official this whole level. This really isn't that long of a level. It's just going to be made a lot longer because there's actually two little NPC quest lines that we have that we can do. Uh, and now that I think about it, I wish I had brought all of my officials clothes with me. Because we're going to finally put those to use today. Crystal Lizard. And I'm going to fail it, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there's some guys over here, though, that we got to fight. Thankfully, Meat Cleaver. Well, it's cleaving the meat right off these enemies. Because they are dying easily. As you can see, they are no joke around here. They still do a decent bit of damage. Uh, this is a pretty... I'm not going to say, like, super late game area. But... It's uh, it's definitely a step up from the areas I've been doing up to this point. Uh, just slightly tankier enemies and stuff like that. So uh, you want to be a little careful around here. There's a guy shooting a crossbow, but there's Imperial spies in this level and they can do a world of hurt. There's one that will sneak up on you from behind if you're not careful. He's kind of the, the worst enemy in this level. Just them in general really are the hardest parts about uh, inner ward. Let's take out this crossbow guy right here. Yeah, if we keep a watch out, he might show up. In fact, I might just go hunt it down. Oh, there's the blue eye night gauntlets. Okay. Where are you at, buddy? Hi! Oh, that's his back! <laughs> okay. Yeah, that one will sneak up on you sometimes and take you out when you don't really need them to but it just leads us right back to over here so there's just two ways around but okay so that's where the blue knight uh greaves are or gloves not greaves i remember one other piece is right before uh not the final boss but the penultimate boss is what i like to call it uh, let's run through here hopefully kill a imperial spy with that rock that's a nice thing you can do, at least on your first run through here. And then we'll take this guy out with a nice R2. And I think... Hi! How you doing, buddy? Ooh, that hurt. Let's, uh, let's, let's do this. We're gonna, like, sit around this corner and just... Bank! <laughs> Love that. And there should be a guy with the crossbow here. So we'll just do a rolling attack. Rolling attack is probably your best bet with meat cleaver in a tight space. Uh, then we'll just roll in here. I think it's actually going to show up on this side. Where are you at? Do I need to pick it up? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like that, uh, that Knuckles meme. Or, you know, he's going like, Approved! It is now illegal. Meme is so dumb. Let's see if I can't take out... Uh... Ooh, I do a lot of damage to these Red Eye Knights. Thing is, these Red Eye Knights will also do a whole lot of damage to me. Uh, but, you know, 
benefits of a strength build. Just going right through stuff like that. So if we go into here and hello, buddy. I'm trying to be all sneaky. Uh, you can actually find the Dragling Merchant for the last time, and this time he actually sells one of the better strength weapons in the game, the Knight Sword. Uh, it's a straight sword. Oh, I used this on my first something. playthrough. Uh, once I got it, which was right at the end, and I made it crushing. You go down the crushing path with this thing, it has an S-scaling and strength, it does a lot of damage, swings really quickly, it's a fantastic weapon. Highly, highly recommend. Um, that's the main new thing that he sells in comparison to what he had in the Lord's Path. And if you're lucky, you can get the Knight Sword off of a Red Eye Knight. I don't think you can get it off the Blue Eye Knights, though. Um, I know they can drop the shield, but I'm pretty sure they don't drop the sword. They kind of made the sword a later game weapon. I honestly uh, used a Knight Sword in one of my earlier attempts at doing a Let's Play of this game. I just went with a quality version because it'd be easier to upgrade, but uh, you know, that one got scrapped. And honestly, this one's going to turn out better because we're just plowing through everything. Okay, let's take out this fat official. And, ooh, I gotta be careful. He actually never really comes out all this far, I feel like. He's normally sitting there near where those uh, bow users are. I actually let him do that. So some of the previous ones had a whip, but you can see this one's got more of a... Uh, an axe, sort of. I don't actually know what kind of weapon that is, and I need to be careful. Uh, but it also just kind of goes to uh, drive the whole... Uh, slave master thing that was going on in Stonefang Tunnel that little bit extra which I really like really like that touch keep things consistent uh, oh hello I'm glad you did not come out till now because I don't think I could have dealt with you while fighting that fat official um, that iron key ring is what we need to get to one of the NPCs for today um, I do believe yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Wait, where do you get the other key? Or no, you use this to get the bloody iron key, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll figure it out, though. We're getting near-ish to the end of the level. Um, go ahead and do that. I just got to be really careful with all these Imperial spies around. These guys have just given me so much trouble. I did a level one run of this game and this level was such a pain because of these guys. I'd get one shot by like half the enemies in the level and it, it is a brutal experience, honestly, <laughs> doing this as a level one character. Although level one runs in these games are pretty fun. I kind of want to finish more of them, although the ones I have remaining I feel like would test the limits of my sanity. Um, because I finished Dark Souls 1, Demon Souls, and Elden Ring at level 1. Uh, my three favorites of the series. But, uh, Elden Ring I feel like would be a very different level 1 experience now compared to when I did it. Because I did it about, uh, three months after launch or so. Um, Bleed was a lot stronger than it is now, and, uh, quite a few weapons I use have since been heavily nerfed like uh, flame of the red mains if you know that and i got nerfed into the ground compared to what it used to do to the final boss um but yeah level one runs are really fun if you are if you've played through the vanilla games quite a few times just having fun with it but you kind of are looking for something a little different uh level one runs are actually pretty interesting uh you can do it as a i think there's really two ways to approach the level one run I think you can use it to really test your skills and see how good you are at the bosses or you can do the way I kind of like to do it which is you go in and you see what kind of ways you can find to break the game at level one see what's uh really get creative and try to test the limits of what's possible with the equipment available to you at such a low level it's actually really interesting to try out and I, I think it can be a lot of fun but you know if you want to do it as a test your skill kind of thing see if you can beat a lot of the later bosses without getting hit uh that's cool too uh, i mean a lot of people really like that so it's all it's all about having fun if you want to spice things up a little i think this is where the primeval demon would show up for this level 
if I remember correctly. I feel like I don't come over here very often because I usually get kind of worried I'm going to die, but I'm feeling pretty comfortable right now. Uh, that's probably a bad thing considering I'm playing a Souls game. Ah, oh, sorry. This is the primeval demon uh, here in pure black world tendency. Let's see what this item is over here. Oh yeah, you can drop down right here. I'm not going to do that though because I don't really trust this part of the level. Um, let's go over here, not over here, maybe up here. But uh, part of me would maybe do a second let's play of some games as challenge runs. I don't know what people would think of that, but uh, like I've thought about probably not maybe the series to talk about this in particular, but uh, I have kind of bumbled around the idea of doing Link's Awakening with only three hearts on the Switch remake because part of me wants to do a Let's Play of the Switch version, but I don't want to just play the game again. So I was like, maybe a three heart hero mode run where I suffer a lot would be kind of fun. Um, just kind of some kind of things I've bounced around in my head a little bit and I want to get these Halberd users attention. So that's the, uh, the fat official that's been messing with us this entire level. Okay, you're you're really not helping me here, buddy. Okay, this is what I want. And I'm gonna draw it and attack. He's got a second hit coming, but we're gonna we're gonna just take him out. Um But yeah, I, I would be interested in doing a couple like challenge run kind of things. Maybe I would do those as like a side thing, kinda like how I did Pikmin 3 uh mission mode on the side. I might make it something like that where I end up uploading daily for a while because I don't want to make it like my main thing, but uh, I think it'd be fun as like a, you know, just something I want to do for funsies. And okay, let's not get greedy actually, that would be a bad idea. Do you have any spells you want to use? No? So there's Estrava again getting into trouble, and this is probably the biggest trouble he's gotten into yet. Because uh, he's got Red Eye Knights on him, so we're going to have to be kind of careful dealing with these. But this is a shortcut straight back to the start. Um, so it's quite nice to pick up. Let's see if we can just bonk. Oh yeah, beautiful. Any Anything fun? Maybe? No? Okay. So if you were playing the original Demon Souls, there's actually only the official's cap, and you would use that to rescue Yuria, but in the remake you have to get the full armor set. This is the third time. Uh, so I'll have to go back to the Nexus and grab that. Oh yeah, I also equipped my binding, binded set. I don't know if I pointed that out. Uh, but this will get you a pure clear stone if you're doing a quality weapon. But yeah, here's my my binded armor. Still got the, the silver uh, bracelets on though, since, you know, extra souls is extra souls. And I'm always going to take that. Uh, but I think that the key ring goes to the... Uh, the door in the Lord's path, which will allow us to rescue Bior, and then I'm pretty sure we get the key that gets us to Yuria's cell from there. Uh, rescuing Bior is quite helpful because he'll actually help us in the Penetrator fight. Uh, you can't really summon NPCs for help in this game like you can in uh, Dark Souls and Forward, but uh, this is about as close as it gets. He, he pretty much is an NPC summon, but uh, if you rescue him, you don't really get the choice. He just shows up. Uh, it does trivialize the Penetrator fight. In fact, the Penetrator can actually be, I'm not going to say like super duper hard, uh, but I, I think he's somewhat challenging, honestly. I'm not great at him. He's like uh, the earliest version of Artorius, really. He looks really cool, too. But we can go down to these cells now and uh, check out what's going on down here, which is usually another fat official is up to something. There he is. Hi, buddy. I'm just going to let you do that. And we're gonna stab you in the back. Anything fun for me? No? Okay, there you go. And there's the bullet. Oh, I got a gold coin. Nice. Gold coins are pretty rare. Um, and they were also used to completely break the game at launch. Uh, you could get a character to max level <laughs> using one of those. It was really funny. If you look up uh, Yampa's How to Break Demon Souls at level 1, uh, just watch any of Yampa's videos by MFAA, it, like, actually one of the best channels on YouTube. Makes some really high quality, uh, Souls videos. Um, he shows how you can do it in that video, and it's really entertaining. 
Uh, but go watch his Dark Souls 2 videos. I feel like those are actually some of his best ones. Even if you don't like Dark Souls 2, uh, it's still a really good time, honestly, to watch some of those. Really sick stuff. Uh, so many cool glitches and things you would never think to do. It's honestly insane. I don't know why anyone would ever do that to themselves, but I respect it. And is this Bior's cell? No. It is not Bior's cell. Story here at Soul. Cool. Where is it? Did I just walk past it? Oh, it's the one cell I haven't opened. Who goes there? Ah, you killed that blooded sluggard for me. I'm called Bior, the elder of the twin fangs of Boletaria. I thank you. You deserve a handsome reward. And may I have none. <laughs> Go on ahead. Yeah, he'll do a little bit of shh me 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 in the meantime. Uh so we can do whatever. What I'm gonna do is actually go back to the Nexus real quick and get the official set so we can go rescue Yuria. I felt that I should at least show me leveling up. I was like, yeah, I've got a lot of souls and I can get nearly two levels. I used one, um, I think it was the story do you, warrior soul or the renowned hero soul. One, whichever one gives you 2000 souls. I did use one of those to, you know, get a couple extra to get the two levels, but uh, very much worth it. I'm up to 18 endurance now. So I'm getting pretty close to that 20 mark that I said I wanted to get to, but Let's head on over this way to the tower where Yuria is. This is also about the area where you would open the door to get the penetrator's armor. And I'm going to just go on ahead and put on the whole official set um, since we're going to need it here in a second. And as you can see uh, in the menu here, you actually now have a, a smile on if you put on the full official set because we have to we have to blend in. We have to be one of them. Never mind the adjudicator shield and the giant uh, knife that I'm walking around with, but uh, whatever they think uh, will work. So we go up to the top here. If you don't have the official set on, this will not be lowered for you. And you can also get the Ring of the Accursed, which is... And the Ring of Magical Nature. I forgot there was two rings right here, honestly. This guy won't attack you, just gone ahead and take him out. Like we do with all the other fat officials. And I hope you've been noticing, we're getting a lot of... Um, full moon grass and late moon grass and stuff. And new moon grass even in uh, Balataria. Yeah, if you talk to Yuria. She still thinks you're evil, so we're gonna go on ahead and put our armor back on. I did get everything right. Whoops. Uh da 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 da. Yeah. Heavens, you 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 came to save me. Thank you. No, I am fine. With a little rest, I can soon walk. You go on ahead. So yeah, Yuria will, um... I like how he's just kind of leaning up against this. Uh, don't bother me, I'm drunk. Whoops. Um... But, yeah, so Yuria will go back to the Nexus now. She's the, uh, the only witch you really encounter in the game. And I guess, uh, so Yuria from a young age, ooh, legendary warrior soul, that's pretty good. Uh, Yuria from a young age was always really good with magic. And she was pretty much ostracized for it. She wasn't necessarily evil or anything. Um, but because she was really good at magic, she, uh, she was pretty much an outcast for her whole life. I don't know why she's locked up in there in particular. Uh, but that's where you find her, so... But she'll sell you some of the most powerful magic spells in the game uh, that Break cannot even teach you. Because like I said earlier, women are actually a lot better with magic in the world of Demon Souls. Or they're more natural with it, I should say. But, um... Go ahead. Ooh, that shockwave. I don't have enough stamina. There we go. We just have to go through this final gauntlet of enemies now. And then we're at the boss, so it's almost, we're almost done with the whole area. 
But yeah, she'll sell us the uh, the curse weapon. So Freak will give you or er, the uh, soul of penetrator will actually have two options. With Freak, you can get light weapon, which is essentially a better version of enchant weapon, and with Yuria, you can get uh, curse weapon. Curse weapon will give you just a flat 50% damage increase to your weapon. That's why I'm getting it. However, it comes at a cost. Um, it drains one horse percent percent. I was trying to emphasize it really miserably at that. Um, one percent of your HP every second. However, if you cast it with a talisman of beasts and you do not meet the stat requirements for the talisman of beasts, uh, it is a cracked talisman of beasts. And then first weapon will only drain one health per second, not percent health. So I have 555 health right now. So I could use Curse Weapon for like 10 minutes or something and not die. It's crazy. Um, light Weapon, like I said, it's just a better version of Magic Weapon. It coats your weapon in basically a big light and it'll do more magic damage. And, you know, some stuff will be resistant to that. But Curse Weapon will just be really good. Uh, both are great spells. If you do... Or if you can't use a cracked version of a uh, curse weapon, I'd probably recommend light weapon. I use light weapon on my new game plus whatever character with the blue blood sword and it it works really well. I, I don't know what else to say. Uh, this final encounter here, by the way, can be pretty tough. They stick three red eye knights on you at once and it's honestly really hard to get them in one on one scenarios. Um, all I can really try to do is see if I can't have them separated at least a little bit. Um, like that. That's pretty good. Well, I guess they weren't really separated, but you know, I took out half their health bars anyway, so... Uh, let's see if I can't bring them around the corner here and just funk. Oh, that's the only one I didn't damage. Oh, they do so much. They do way too much damage. Oh boy. I don't want any of you to do that. And I'm done. Okay, so time to refight all that stuff. All right, I made my way back here mostly. Let's uh, take that guy out, and I want to see if I can't just aggro a single one or two. Oh, perfect. There we go. And I, uh, I was just thinking about it as I was making my way back over here. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that Dark Souls 3 essentially rips this entire section off. Uh, with the journey up to uh, the Twin Princes. I ever played that game, you know, at the uh, very, very end. You um, you basically go across this giant bridge towards the last of the four lords, and it has a bunch of enemies on it. And at the end are some of the strongest knight-type enemies in the game. And both of them are after me. Great. Uh, but hey, two's better than three. So I'll, I'll take whatever win I can get. And can you guys, like, not do that, please? Okay. Which one? Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Nailed it. Oh. Get pancaked. You deserve to get pancaked, buddy. And you're dead. And you're dead. Okay. Now that we're finally through all that, we just have to deal with the crossbow users, and then we can fight the boss, which hopefully will be pretty easy with my weapon here. Uh, I think he's weak to magic. I think I'll go on ahead and just cast enchant weapon. So let's climb the stairs here and see what is up. I love the entrance for this boss. Like it's so dramatic, the build-up, and then the cutscene that we're gonna get is also really cool. And he has the curse weapon on his sword. Like, everything about this boss looks so awesome. I love this fight. 
I'm probably gonna make mincemeat of him, but yeah. So the neat part about that attack is only that final swing there actually has a hitbox. The whole like twirl, you don't take damage from it. And whoa, he's doing a whole combo. And that's a dangerous attack there. So eventually Vior should draw aggro on him and we can just go in and start smacking away at him. You gotta be a little careful though not to hit Bior's. You can still hit him, unlike with uh, Summon and Dark Souls. Like, I think I did more damage to Bior there than the Penetrator did, but uh, that is this fight done. I'm just hoping Bior doesn't start attacking me next. Okay, there we go. And we should get some souls, and then his demon soul, and then we're all hunky-dory. 39k, that's a whole lot. So the silver demon soul is what I really, really wanted. But if we now go back to the nexus, we should be able to talk to Yuria and obtain curse weapon. The other drawback of curse weapon is it takes three magic spell slots to use. Uh, the maximum is six, so it's uh, quite a hefty cost. And there she is. Hello again. I am sorry. But should you have demon only my witchcraft, why not try the magic of the great sage Frey? So I'm going to probably talk to Yuria a bit more during one of the archdemon parts where I have a bit more time for it. Um, yeah, we'll go on ahead and learn curse weapon from her and then we can attune magic with her as well. Pretty much every spell that she offers is something you cannot learn at break. Uh, Ignite is really good. It's basically combustion. And Firestorm is also really strong, but uh, Curse Weapon is what I want. We can go on ahead and equip the Talisman of Beast, and then you can slap Curse Weapon on. You'll get that cool effect. And you can see uh, if we go into the menu, my health is slowly, slowly ticking away. Like it was at 788, it's been a couple seconds, 782. So uh, pretty neat, really helpful, strongly recommend. Now, uh, let's level up a couple times, let's max out that endurance for what I want, and then I think I need more vitality. But I can gain a... F I almost had a few... Ooh, no, we could probably do a few extra levels. Hey, we'll go on ahead and use this, it's probably not much. I'm gonna get pretty darn close, I think. To two more levels. Okay, there we go. So, level 56. So that I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you guys next time where we'll do Upper Latria. Bye bye.